This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. The purpose of this public meeting is to explain the project goals, present the recommendations, and hear your feedback on those recommendations. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including the Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R dot S-M-I-T-H the number two at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414. 4753 or email at at dot.state.fl.us. That's J A C Q U E L I N E dot P A R A M O R E at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This is the State Road 100, or East Moody Boulevard, Improvements Project. The project limits run just over four and a half miles from North Palmetto Street to Old Kings Road South. The goal of this project is to improve safety for all modes of transportation and extend the life of the roadway. A lot of growth and development has occurred around State Road 100 that has increased vehicle traffic as well as pedestrian activity. A 2019 traffic study found anywhere from 12,600 to 32,000 vehicles travel parts of this corridor each day. Currently, State Road 100 is a four-lane roadway. From Palmetto Street to Commerce Parkway, there is a five-foot wide sidewalk on both sides of State Road 100, as well as on-street bike lanes. This section will be repaved. From Commerce Parkway to just west of I-95, there will be a six-foot wide sidewalk added on the south side of State Road 100. Bicyclists will use the paved shoulder or sidewalk within this section. This area will also be repaved. The Mart on-street bike lanes pick back up as you approach I-95 and run through Old Kings Road South. This area will also have the sidewalk added on the south side of State Road 100 and be repaved. Other improvements include plans to add right turn lanes on State Road 100 to Seminole Woods Boulevard slash Town Center Boulevard. State Road 100 will be widened to accommodate the new turn lanes as shown in orange on this illustration. To enhance pedestrian connectivity, new crosswalks are planned on State Road 100 at the intersections of Landing Boulevard, Bulldog Drive, Seminole Woods Boulevard slash Town Center Boulevard, Memorial Medical Parkway, and Old Kings Road South. Traffic signals will also be upgraded at Beltaire Parkway and Memorial Medical Parkway. Another safety improvement is the installation of wrong-way driving detection devices on the exit ramps from I-95 onto State Road 100. The technology has four key components. First, it uses radar to detect vehicles going the wrong way on the off-ramp. 
Second, it triggers flashing lights that alert the driver they are going the wrong way. Third, the technology notifies law enforcement and the FDOT's Regional Transportation Management Center, or RTMC, which monitors activity on the roadways 24 hours a day. Finally, the RTMC broadcasts warnings using the electronic message boards along the interstate to warn other drivers. Additionally, this project includes modifying the median at Old Kings Road South to better accommodate U-turns and upgrading curb ramps throughout the project limits to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. During construction, the department will work hard to minimize impacts to traffic flow. State Road 100 will remain open during construction and any lane closures will be limited to off-peak hours. Work at the I-95 ramps will require temporary ramp closures and or detours. Additionally, access to homes and businesses will be maintained at all times. Work is expected to occur both during the day and at night. The design phase is anticipated to be complete in spring 2023 at a cost of $2.1 million. All work will be done within the right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin fall 2023 at a cost of $9.5 million. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 445219-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by June 27th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445219-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at shelley.chinqui at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-H-E-L-L-E-Y dot C-H-I-N-Q-U-E-E -E at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. Or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5439 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by June 27th. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445219-1. Have a good evening.